Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Thank you everyone for checking out my channel. I'm going to be talking about social media scams, particularly one that targeted me and one recently. So, not too long ago, I'm on Facebook, maybe a couple of years ago, no more than two, and I had just happened to be in the mode where I was examining people's arguments, putting them in a notepad, checking them for fallacies, and I was in that frame of mind. And I was into Sarah Silverman's show at the time, and big, been a big fan for a long time, and I would like, post, share some of the shows that were coming out at the time. No more than like five minutes after I had just liked a post, I get a messenger, a Facebook messenger message from Sarah Silverman. Well, the supposed Sarah Silverman. Right away, I get excited. But the critical thinker in me is like, whoa, hold on. What's going on? I contact one friend, then another. I make sure they're around for texting. And I tell them, oh, Sarah Silverman just contacted me. At this point, I try to play a game with them. One of the friends, I eventually let them know that I, I know it's a scam or potentially a scam. And the other friend, I just kept going with it. So I removed my filter. And I wanted to examine this as, what am I feeling? What are the motivations behind it? Because a part of me wanted to believe it was Sarah Silverman. And whoever this person was, be it a man or a woman, used the right phrasing. It seemed like it could have been her. The way she contacted me in the initial engagement, using the right words appealing to my vanity that went on for a little while and it was funny to see the two different friends i had and what they were telling me because in the beginning like i said i was oh my god sarah silverman's contacted me so I, and after that i did two two things one i contacted my friends but i immediately had other window open with scams on facebook scams on social media celebrity scams so I'm engaging in this experiment. I'm talking to my friends and one of the friends was, you know, be careful. That's great. Maybe she likes your post or she read your book, things like that. And the other friend is like, asshole, don't fucking, don't communicate. Just block them or don't bother with it. You're an idiot. You don't be fucking stupid. Just to show you, <laughs> it was funny at the time. And like I said, I decided to treat it as if I had no filter, so I went right with just my emotions, and I played along. And I'm playing this game with all three of them, because I got Sarah Silverman, I got one friend and another friend, and I'm playing it as if I'm going with my emotions. I want to believe this is Sarah. It went on for a while, and I'm checking for social media scams. I'm checking for information on what they're going to ask for, what don't you give the information. This progressed for a good two days, not in constant contact with my two friends, but in that she would keep reaching out and give me information, but taking it slow. This person played the long con, maybe even practice and actually knew about Sarah Silverman, because I could tell there were aspects like, okay, that might be something Sarah would say. I could see that. All in all, I'm waiting for the con to, to come. I'm writing notes down on paper, our exchanges, examining how my feelings were at the moment, realizing that if I wasn't applying a filter, if I wasn't trying to be critical, I could easily see how people just get wrapped up and fall for these scams. They're smart. I always think of it like, if you're at your job and you're good at it, even if you don't like it, 
I think con men and scam artists are good at their job. Well, they can get good at their job. Some are horrible, as I'll get to at the end of this. So it was fascinating for me to try to piece together what their motives are. Why ask this question or that? Were they appealing to my emotions? Were they trying to keep me strung along? And then they were going to hit me with the, you know, we need your this number or, oh, join in for this, which it eventually came to. But it was so, it was fun. I like trying to experiment with my thoughts and my emotions to recognize the difference between thinking about something critically and just getting wrapped up in the moment. I always wonder why when people talk about scams, especially for the elderly people, where they're on the phone with somebody and they get scammed. When you hear the story, you go, what? How could it just doesn't make sense? Well, maybe to you, it doesn't at that time. But this is how the process is going in our minds. Once you believe something, you're convinced you will keep making excuses. You will justify these things. So we had a long conversation. She's telling me all these things, uh, how funny I am, how handsome I am, this and that. But there were lots of mistakes as I'm going through it. At the time, I had not decided to be vocal and as outgoing on social media. I was just starting to get with my family and friends, but I never did anything but like or share a post. So she would mention things like, oh, you post on my site a lot because it was obviously a fan. I'm guessing whoever this is, is join her fan site or her celebrity page and her show page was a member and would target other members as they joined or participated. So if I'm on Facebook and I share a post, you can see who's leaving comments, but I never commented. I never felt comfortable. I wasn't comfortable at the time to say things. Oh, I love your show. And she was trying to insert details, the scam artist, into the conversation, hinting that I was very active on the site. And she liked the things I said about her, which I never did. So there were giveaways. But like I said, it was a fun experiment to see what my motives were and how much I wanted this to be Sarah Silverman. Someone who appreciates my writing because whoever it was must have did a little bit of research within the two days. Because they would mention things and drop hints about my book. And, oh, you're a writer. Things like that. But the little hints were obvious looking at it. And that's really what it came down to when eventually it led to a private funded artist type scam, I guess. Because... Once it got to that point, I just started being blunt and blatant. It didn't end well in that, in that sense, but I was like, look, you're good at this. I was trying to be cordial and say, look, just tell me the truth. I'm, I'm fascinated with the psychology behind this. Like, do you practice? I, I started asking all these questions and they took it as an offense to them, which is bullshit, but I had a fun time. I wasn't in fear of being scammed because as I'm looking uh, when I first initially engaged in this like I said I search for scams and how they work so I knew if it goes to if it's on messenger certain information you don't want to give if it goes to your phone what they what the scams off of there they're going to get your contacts or they're just going to use you for spamming information your email contacts so on and so forth. So I had an idea I knew what I was up against. And I wasn't too worried. And I was having fun. So. Now. After the Sarah Silverman thing. I When I wrote down my notes. And I talked to my friends who were. Participating in the first couple of hours of it. I showed them like how funny. Uh, the differences were. You know one's trying to be. You know, oh, well, that's nice, Joe, but, you know, be careful. You know how things work. And the other one's like, idiot. Stop. Don't feed the trolls. You're going to get fucking scammed. It was just a great way to see the, how different friends will try to treat you. And it, it made me laugh. And I showed them all the writing of a couple of pages of writing notes I had written down. 
And that brings me to not more than two weeks ago. I'm on Twitter and Snoop Dogg follows me. Or well, Snoop Dogg 1 115167, you know, some fucking random chaos number at the end of his name or her name, who knows. They followed me, they send me a message, I follow back. I'm like, hey, alright, well, at worst it's a fan of Snoop Dogg's and he's helping to promote or whatever because the, the profile was almost identical to Snoop Dogg's because I do follow Snoop Dogg. Yeah. I base part of the personality of one of the characters in my book off Snoop Dogg. I get a message talking about this Snoop Dogg's quest to claim sites that people have taken over and that he's the real Snoop Dogg. And this scammer had no subtlety. The Sarah Silverman scam artist, I can see people falling for it. Clever, knows how to use words, says it the right way, takes their time. This one out of the gate. I gotta help him reclaim his information. This is bullshit. It's, people are taking his name and getting websites and he's on a quest and I had fun with it for a little bit. This one didn't last long. I didn't even contact oh no, I contacted one of the friends. The other one didn't respond. And I'm having a little bit of fun, and but it got way too fast, way too quick. I told him to slow down. You know, when you do these scams, you got to be subtle with it. Be honest with me, this and that. And he went right into the police and giving me code numbers, telling me to be watch out about certain things, and I'd have to help him, and I just fucking blocked him immediately. I didn't want to take chances. It got way too stupid too fast. I might play, you know, a little game and have fun knowing the ramifications of what could happen. I'm not giving any information on it. But I'm fascinated with the psychology of it. I even tried to give hints to the person to slow down and you got to take this easy. You know, if you want my credit card number or something, you're going to have to be real persuasive because this isn't working. I guess this is just a general warning to be careful to people. You got to watch yourself. And it's not only that you're not susceptible to these things or you don't think you are. You'd be surprised at what your emotions and your ego and the workings of your mind will bring forth and justify to make you convinced. I had no danger of that with the Snoop Dogg one, but I got to admit the... I gotta admit the feelings I had when Sarah Silverman was contacting me. So all in all, it's fun story, but be careful. Watch who you engage with, even if they haven't asked you in the beginning or haven't given up the the scam. Be careful what you desire, what your motives are. That's why I always say to be self-aware. Be a critical thinker in that aspect. Until next time, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope to see you again. You know what to do. Thank you very much.